as you can see, I've gone on to take the extra paper underneath with solar tape. So I'm just cutting out the, the excess, okay? I'm just cutting out the excess so that we maintain the shape and the measurements everywhere else, okay? So I'm just going to chop off all oh, this extra piece of paper. We don't need this. Okay, we don't need all this extra. And then also by our cut line here. I'm gonna start here. There we go. We don't need this extra piece so that we can maintain the measurement. Okay, so our trouser or our palazzo front pattern looks something like this. So remember we took in we took it we extended it by eight inches. Okay. Extended it by eight inches. You can see it has gone a little bit uh, wider by half inch. So I'm going to mark the half point at four and a half. Still fine. So the idea here, the idea is just to create a, a kissing kit. And then this corner comes to this midpoint, like this, and this other point also, which will come here. So you can just try to see if the design is for me, okay? So you bring the two ends to meet by this point, okay? So you would have this split. In the middle so you see you're going to have something of this kind you see so we have we would have created the the pleat and you would have maintained your measurement so this is our front pattern I'm just going to go ahead and cut the cut the pockets which we're going to be adding to the sides and then I'll come back and show you once I've cut the fabric So I've gone on to cut the, um, the fabric. These are the back pieces, so I just labeled them B1, B2. So I just placed that back pattern on top and uh, I cut. And these are two pieces, okay? These are two pieces and I went on to slit the, the, the side, okay? So it gives me two pieces. I also went on to cut the front piece. So when we are joining this, okay i'm going to start by finishing off the edges here okay um i think i won't i'm not going to line it i don't think it's that transparent uh in any case you can wear something inside if it's transparent but i'm just going to finish off the edges and then here i'm going to leave you can see it's already framed there here i'm going to leave about um eight to nine inches so i marked nine inches here okay so from the top there i'm going to leave um nine inches and this is after i've also finished up i think i'm going to use a zigzag stitch to just finish off these edges all all over i'm going to finish up with except the waist because we'll be joining this to the top part and then we can do the finishing but all the other sides i'm going to finish it up and then i'm going to come here this is the back piece from the top there i'm going to leave about nine inches you can leave eight inches so this is going to allow for the zipper uh, attachment 
because my zipper will run from the from the top part of the of the jumpsuit all the way down so that I can easily get into it and out without a problem and then from this nine inch uh, point from this nine inch point here I'm just going to stitch this crotch area closed up to here okay and then I'm going to take the right piece uh, I mean the piece for the front okay let me just put that there okay so I've also gone on to cut the this is the front these are the front pieces it's two of them and as you can see I've already pleated them the two kissing pleats okay so it's two pieces as well so you can see the, the this kissing pleat has taken in that excess that we had added we added about eight and a half inches so that is what i've taken in by the sleeve by the pleat okay, to say. so i just want to put this so that you can see so this was our our pattern that we made so this was the excess that we we added from where i've put this solo tape okay so that it would be easy to add the pleat so the next thing that i did i just went in and i pleated that excess together okay and made sure that after i had pleated this um fabric that the distance or the length that i have here rather than the width that i have at the waist is going to be a quarter of my waist measurement remember we're working with 41 inches so 41 divided by 4 gave me 10.25 10.2 so i made sure that when i measure this it gives me 10.2 so that i don't have any excess we already have excess in that 41 that covers for the zipper it will be now taken in by the by the zipper allowance so i made sure that this measurement here okay does not pass the 10 point 10.2 you can see where my tape is so i've taken the excess into the into the pleat so the next thing also here i'm just going to put this on top right sides facing and i'm going to go to the machine and i just i'm going to so this crotch area so i'm going to to sew from here half inch to join it back once i've done that then i'll place the back piece together with this right piece and i'm going to join the two together and i've also gone into i, I went ahead to cut the the pocket let me just get the pocket pieces okay Let me just arrange them so i use the lining to cut the pockets because i don't have enough fabric on that so what i did was i just placed my hands like this so i made four folds okay so you need four because you need two for each pocket right so it's one two okay three and then four so i just placed my hand like this and then i traced around leaving some excess of course and then I just cut it off. So now, once I have, I'm going to also sew here so that this this pleat stays in place before I start hanging everything else. So once I've done that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to measure about three inches from the waist. Okay, I'm going to come there by the edge, not the side of where you have this curve on the other side because this is going to be by your seam okay this is your side seam so i'm going to leave about three inches or so because i don't want the pocket to be messing around with the joining here okay i want to join the upper part to the down part without issues so i'm going to come in and i'm going to place it three inches down like this okay and then 
I'm just going to take it in by one inch. I'm going to use one inch as my sewing allowance here, okay? So I'm going to take it in by one inch and then I'll do the same for the other side and also on the back piece. And afterwards, you know, it will, you can flip it to the wrong side and it will be able to stay. But you will see once I start the, the sewing. So this is what I wanted to show you. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to sew or stitch the pleat in place i'm going to do the same on this one and then i'm going to place right sides facing this is the right part this is the front part rather and i'm going to close off this whole area by half inch so that the front piece would be one okay on the back piece when I'm connecting these two pieces, I'm going to leave nine inches, like I said, because that is going to allow for the zipper uh, allowance, okay? And then after that, then we'll be able to join the front two to the back piece. Ooh. Ooh, I love the way it's looking so far. This is our front piece. This is our front piece. Let me move my phone cover there. This is our front piece. This is the waistline. So let me flip it to the wrong side. Just trying to twist out this. I'll, I'll iron it so that our pleats can lie nicely. Oh, I like. I like how it's looking so far. It's got the volume and it's got the length that I wanted. Oh, yeah, I can't wait. Now I'm excited about this, about this jumpsuit. Oh my God. Ooh, ooh. It's gonna look nice, okay? So as you can see, I've gone on to finish up all the edges with a zigzag stitch. So if you have an, an overlocker, you can go right ahead and finish it off using the overlock i just used a zigzag stitch all around all the pieces okay so let me flip it to the wrong side so that you can see just gonna chop off this okay got all the threads here okay so i went on to finish up the this area you see where that care forms so just with half inch i took him okay and i also went on to attach the pocket remember i said i'm going to be using one inch to sew the side seam so i just placed the pocket at the three inch mark remember i said i'll go down by three inches so i just placed it there and i placed it right sides facing right sides and i just stitched it along okay so the next thing is we are going to place the back piece on top of this. Oh, I like this color. Do you know I've had this fabric for the longest time? For the longest time because I used to think that um, it's too dark and somehow, and then also I thought that the, the print or the flower was too bold for my liking. So I really kept it for for a while because I thought it would look kind of weird on me I don't know but so far I'm liking this pop of color and I'm liking just how it has come out so I'm just putting them this is the back piece and um, I've also gone on to join but for this one I only joined it up to this mark remember we had said we are going to leave nine inches for the zipper attachment so here it's open up to the nine nine inch mark and then from the nine inch mark i just closed it right off to the end of the curve and now i'm just placing it on top of them i'm placing it on top of the front piece okay and to make sure that this pocket aligns three inch mark and the three inch mark i hope you can see this so i was just checking here 
to see that we have the pockets aligning at the three inch mark okay so we have three inch mark on one side and the other three inch mark here on the back side okay i hope you can see where i marked those two so one is here okay and the other one is on the other side okay so they match and then what you're going to do now when you place them together you are going to put the middle pieces or the middle areas together so open open the seam okay so this is where we stitched i hope you can see that so you just open that and then place it on the other one you also open it up and then you just place pins place pins so at the center i'm going to stitch with half inch and then on the side seams i'm going to use one inch okay so the next thing is just to sew from the middle here you're going to sew half inch and you bring it to the hem of of your palazzo okay you're going to take it right up to the edge of the the palazzo and then you're going to sew all the way okay so it's from one end having put this, the, the two pieces together and you make sure that the joinings are matching and then you just sew we're going to go all the way right up to the up to the edge of the two pieces and then on the in on the other side also you continue that stitch all the way right up to up to the edge okay so that will form your your inner seam you're going to go right up to the edge and then after that that's when you are going to come and stitch your sides okay let me try to organize it this way okay so after attaching the the middle and sewing all the way around then we are going to go to the to the side seam okay we're going to place it that way and then we are going to stitch all the way right up to the end of the end of the fabric there and then you do the same and the down part will almost be done okay then once i do that i'll show you the next move or the next step rather the next move ooh, 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 ooh. i really really like how it's turning out it's got the volume and uh yeah i, I really like it i really like it and then one thing I, I forgot to mention, remember, you cut the back piece wider by two inches. So they will not fit exactly. You just have to pull the edges, put the edges together on the side seam, put the edges together from the, from the center here, sew all the way down. And then it will fall in place after you have stitched it. Here we are so what i've done here as you can see i went on to join the upper part to the bottom part and uh, i'm going to flip this to the wrong side so that you, i can explain to you how i went about it okay so you can see the down part has been joined to the bottom part it's really looking nice i like the volume um i tried it on I think I should have pre-washed it before. What I'm going to do is I'll just soak it in water and leave it to dry overnight and then tomorrow I can continue with the upper part. Okay. Um, so let me flip this. This is the back side. This is the back side. Okay. So this is where the zipper is going to be attached. Okay. So I came up to the nine inch mark and then I just attached it to the to the upper part. Okay, I need to cut those folds. So let me just flip it so that I explain to you how I went about doing this. So I placed the 
back on the front piece like I had said okay and um, so I placed it I need to cut all the threads so I placed the front on the back piece or the back piece on the front piece whichever way um, and then I attached I attach the back to the front first at this at the at the center here at the crotch area so that's where I started stitching so you can I hope you can see this bring it closer so I just started from the center and I went all the way down to the to the hemline and then I came back and I continued and I went with it all the way to the to the bottom there after I joined this part then I went to the sides. So this is our side seam. I need to trim that off. So from the waist, okay, I stitched up to here. Remember, I had placed these pockets on, okay, right sides facing three inches down. That's where we had marked. So after placing the, the after joining the two parts from the crotch area, what I did was, I just came from the waist and I was sewing using one inch so I came this way and when I got to the pocket I pivoted and I came and I stitched these two pocket pieces like this okay all the way when I got here then I continued and I stitched all the way down to the side and I did the same thing on the other side so placing the right and the rather the front and the back pieces together and you stitch from the waist half inch in not half inch rather one inch okay so you stitch from the waist okay when you get to where the pocket starts you pivot and you go around like that and then you come and then you continue all the way down so here after stitching i just use a zigzag stitch to finish off this is a um, bungee lining so it's very very slippery okay if you have um, an overlocker you can finish it off with an overlocker if you want to use um you can use a bias also but i just use a simple zigzag stitch and then so that meant that our down part was almost complete because it was joined we joined the back and the front so here at the hem as you can see i haven't finished it off I'm going to just take um, half inch and then another half inch so I'll be using one inch to to sew this to finish off the the hem here make sure that your your join or your seam is open flat and then you fold in half inch then take another inch so that is about one inch in total and then you're just going to hem the bottom part you're going to do the same thing to this side okay so the the only other thing that is left apart from attaching the zipper is to create our coat shoulder pattern at the top remember i said it would be one of the last things that i was going to do okay it would be one of the last things so because i want to can see our pocket looking so nice there so when you place the top part okay when we place the top part remember the back is supposed to be longer okay okay so when we place our um, our jumpsuit that way the top part has some frills or gathers okay i'm just going to gather mine because i don't have enough fabric to cut a circle you can cut a circle to create a flounce or you can use other methods of cutting a flounce there's several ways you can cut a flounce or you can pleat it if you want but i'm going to gather it so you can either cut it as a flounce you can cut it as a circle you can cut um and um you pleat it so because i'm going to be gathering what i did is i got my my round chest measurement okay 
my round chest measurement is 44 inches so 44 times 3 because you i want it to be kind of full okay so 44 inches times uh three it's about 132 there inches so i'm just going to cut a long strip and i'm going to gather it afterwards i want the frill so you can decide where you want your frills to be so i'm going to measure four inches from the arm um, 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 pit so just measure like that so i'm just going to mark that point on the armhole so my my frills or my gathers are going to start somewhere there or they're going to be somewhere there so i've decided to use this yellow just to make the design come out and i'm going to be cutting this piece into two and then i'll join it so that i can get the length that i want so the width is eight inches and i'm going to hem it at the bottom so i'll just fold it like that twice and then make a straight stitch and uh, join it to the to this other piece that i'm going to cut there so i'm going to measure out eight inches and it's about 132 inches long and i'm going to gather it on the machine and after that i'm going to place it on top remember our, our jumpsuit is almost finished so i'm going to place it on top let's imagine that this is has already been cut let me do it in such a way imagine that this has already been cut so you're going to come with your long strip and it's going to go around your armhole so that is what is going to form kind of uh, uh your arm is going to go through there and then around to the back right up to the zipper the zipper allowance sorry so when you have hemmed the bottom of your strip and um, you've gone on to gather it you come and you place it this way okay it will face your neck and you place it on that place so on that point i'm going to draw a line just to indicate where i should stitch and then i'm just going to stitch by half inch um straight stitch all the way and when i get to the end of this armhole i will go to the back side and i'll stitch right up to up to the to where this this part ends okay to where it ends and then do the same thing on the other side and then after that, the, the gathers will flip over. I think it's going to look very, very beautiful. After finishing that, I'm just going to go ahead and attach the zipper. Then I'll be attaching the neck collar. And then after that, I think we'll be done. I'm also thinking I might do a belt for, for the waist. But I'll see. I still have a small piece left, which I think can do for, for a belt maybe of a width of three inches or so so i'll make the belt attach the frills attach the zipper and attach the collar and also i'm going to go and finish up the edges of or the hem of our jumpsuit so stay tuned until um, the end we're almost done and um, i hope that you are going to um, try this jumpsuit also right okay so i'll see you in a short while